we are going to be using this gauge here. Uh, it's a leakage tester gauge to test cylinder number two here on this engine for leakage. When performing the test, you wanna make sure that first you're at top dead center, and to find top dead center, you can put a balloon on the end of this tube here, and as you crank the engine, the balloon will inflate on the compression stroke, and then you can find top dead center. You could move the engine with the alternator pulley, uh, but I think it's best to use the crank pulley instead. Now we will crank the engine over until we see the balloon inflate like this. Um, this means we have gone through enough of the stages and we're now at the compression stage. We know we're at the compression stage now, so I can take out this tube um, and now put in some type of rod. Uh, doesn't matter a whole lot what it is, but just get it down on top of the piston and then crank over the engine until you feel it come up and then um, before it starts to come back down. Uh, that's when it's at the, the highest point. Almost anything will work for checking top, top dead center, but um, I like using the wooden, wooden rod because if something gets caught, um, then it'll just snap the wood and you won't mess up anything in the cylinder. Now as we crank the engine, it's going up um, with each stroke. Um, still going up, still going up, and eventually uh, it'll start slowing down and then you know that it's almost ready to go down. Uh, it's still going up still, still going up. And now it just went down, which means we can reverse. Uh, we know that that was, we passed the highest point and now we can um, come back up to that point. At top dead center, we can um, put the hose back in, and now we will set up our gauges to test for leakage. One way to double check that you're at top dead center would be to just blow into this, um, just with your mouth, and if you are not able to blow, that's a good indicator that you're at top dead center. At top dead center, uh, the piston is all the way up, and both valves are closed. We'll hook the gauge up to an air compressor and then calibrate it using this knob here. Um, you should be able to just turn it. Um, loosening it um, will make the gauge come up um, past it. So I have to tighten it a little bit to have it come back down. You want to start at that zero point. And there we are. Now we are ready to connect our um, the other end of our gauge to the piston. And it says that we are in the green. Um, this is a really good cylinder. We have just over 10% um, air leakage. If you want to, uh, you can press down on this knob to lock it. And now you can't accidentally bump it or, or reset it. Those are the basics of how to check um, leakage with this Harbor Freight um, leak down tester. If you found this useful, don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.